everyone and welcome to episode one of Emerson's Island Adventure. So Emerson is back in a brand new series and if you haven't seen it yet he uh, he started his journey as a runaway teen in the Runaway Teen in the Jungle series uh, where he ran away to Selva Dorada because uh, he wanted some adventure in his life. Um, so he is now a young adult after completing uh, that challenge and I've decided um, that it, this is the perfect uh, series for him to come back to because um, this world is just so Emerson uh, and you'll see him in his little portrait there he's got a new look uh, which we'll take a look at in a minute but first of all let's have a quick look at his house uh, so this is is his um, Villa, cabin, beach shack, I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, but this is obviously on an island in Silani. Uh, it's on a waterfront lot so that we could have this wonderful uh, little bit of a pier and it's so we can have a boat. Um, and I've done these nice little rooftop gardens because Emerson's very much into nature and um, we're going to make him a conservationist. Um, We've got uh, this little garden outside because I think it would be quite cool for him to grow his own food to eat. I'm going to try my best to do that so he's going to eat stuff uh, that he's grown. Um, and we've got all kinds of stuff in there but we've got room for more when we find some new uh, plants and stuff uh, from here. Uh, so he's got a little um, sunbathing area out here. Um, I'm not sure if I want him to get a suntan after seeing... Um, Marissa tan up in um, my Road to Fame uh, Island Vacation uh, series because the tan's just a little bit dark. I mean, it's not even gradual. It's just like straight to, wow, you've got a tan. <laughs> so um, I'm not really sure if I want him to uh, sunbathe, but we'll see. We'll see. We've got um, this little bar area here. Uh, this is pretty cool. I might have to just go down a few floors so I can show you this properly. Uh, it's got a little... He's got the new bench, he's got the new bar, um, new stools, he's got a grill just in case he wants to grill something. He's got this light fitting, I absolutely love this light fitting, it's so cool, it's so nice. Um, and then we've got this uh, back entrance here, I love in the open windows, they're pretty cool. Uh, but let's head on into the house, so just over here uh, we've got his bedroom and Indiana's bedroom as well. Um, he's got some of his plaques from uh, Selva Dorada that he had in his previous home. I'm not sure if I've got exactly the right ones, uh, but I've got a few uh, that I know he had. So he's got his bed there, he's got a little desk with a laptop. I wasn't going to get him a computer, but um, I changed my mind when I realised I needed to order something. Um, so he's got a laptop which we can put away when needed. And he's got this little bookcase area as well. And he's got a closet. Uh, then we've got his bathroom here, um, we've got the Silver Dorada tiles, uh, but the new island living uh, bathtub and shower and sink, uh, but there isn't a toilet that matches. Uh, so what I think I might do is get him to make one on the woodworking table, if that's what you call it, uh, because I'm pretty sure the toilet you can make is really similar um, to this uh, wood style of this um, bathroom plumbing items <laughs> yeah that um so i think that would be quite cool so we'll check that out because he's got full handedness skill now uh, let's head on over here we've got our little entranceway and this leads into an indoor garden i don't know what on earth inspired me to do this but i absolutely love it uh, it's even got palm trees look this is so cool and at one point this house only had one floor so i had to take the palm trees out because they didn't fit uh, but I've been able to put them back in because I went up another floor because I realised you can't build basements. So you know all them little clutter items like the decorations box that changes the house decorations and things like that? They would have gone in a basement, but I've had to build them upstairs. Uh, so we've got this kind of nice, almost conservatory entrance, which is pretty cool, um, which I really like. And I love the fact that it's got the palm trees in it. And I love the new plants with Jungle Adventure. These are so brightly coloured. Uh, sorry, Island Living. Oh my word. <laughs> um, but yeah, this pack is amazing. It's so bright and happy and this world just makes me want to go on holiday. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, right, so if we go over here, 
Um, we've got his living room area and we've got his dining room uh, in the same room. Uh, not quite sure why I put this on a bit of a wonk, uh, but I kind of like it. It just seemed a little bit too uniformed when I had it straight, so I thought I'd change it up a little bit. Uh, not like me at all. I'm usually like, I've got to line everything up <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> but never mind. Uh, we've got his little kitchen area over here. Um, I'm loving these square rugs. They are so good. I've used these in my Road to Fame uh, retreat uh, building as well. And they just tile so good. It's awesome. Uh, so I like his little kitchen. And we've got this little random room over here. Uh, but this, I kind of was going to make it into like a laundry room because the kitchen was too big. So I thought, well, I'll extend, just put a little room here. So I was going to make like a laundry room. But then I'm like... I don't know if I want him to do laundry because sometimes laundry is a little bit. Ugh. It just like you just seem to always be doing laundry, like the same way the Sims always need to pee or take a shower. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just I don't know. So I decided instead just to kind of put these open windows and put in a little sofa and some plants, and then it just gave me somewhere to put his archaeology table because we're we're still getting um, artifacts in the mail, uh, so that's really cool. So we can still earn some money that way as well. Uh, the only thing I've got with that is, um, in order to mail them back, it says uh, you get fame. And I don't know what to do because I can't decide whether I want him to be famous or not. Because uh, I'm not 100% sure I like the fame system uh, in the game. So I'm a bit like, mm, do I, don't I? I've spent a lot of time building fame with... Uh, Elise and Marissa in my Road to Fame series and I'm just not sure if I want that for him but it, then in some ways it'd be quite cool for him to be like a famous conservationist or whatever after uh, you know becoming uh, the jungle adventurer what was it? He got a trait for it um, becoming a treasure hunter from completing the jungle explorer aspiration so you know it's, it'd be kind of cool but I'm not sure so let me know what you think do you want Emerson to be famous? You know, would you like a bit of input? If you want him to be, let me know. If you don't, also let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I'm loving these new shelves that we've got. And I just had a few random little items spare, so I thought I'd just put those on. Uh, but I'm assuming you can maybe collect some nice stuff uh, to put on these. Oh, I'm hoping so, anyway. So anyway, we've got... <laughs> back to the house. We've got this little seating area here. for, And I've put him in a TV, because let's face it, he's going to want to have some fun and wind down at some point uh, so we have to have a TV uh, and then we're just gonna go upstairs so this didn't originally didn't have an upstairs uh, but then I kind of realized I don't have anywhere for a gym uh, so we've got this little gym area here which needs a little bit of work but I spent so long building this house I just I just wanted to stop <laughs> and I'm, I'm all right with it it's, it's fine for now uh, and then we've got this little random junk room it's got a scout table scout boarding it's got the uh, decoration boxes and it's got his chest uh, with a load of random items in um, that he's collected uh, from Selvadorada. And then over here, this is the main reason why I built the upstairs as well. Apart from like having stuff like this up here, is for this. <gasps> he's got all his artifacts here, which is so cool. I, I actually had them downstairs before I built the staircase. But they're just such big cabinets and I didn't want to get rid of them because they're his and, you know, they display his, his artefacts really well. <clears throat> I've put in a few little extra bits just to fill the gaps. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to get rid of it. I wanted to keep them. So I thought, well, let's just put them upstairs and then he's got them. And it's, it's part of his, his past. It's his history. It's, you know, he ran away to Salvadorada and he became uh, an archaeologist. And this is you know, the fruits of his labour. And so we couldn't lose those when we moved him here. Uh, right, so I've waffled on uh, for quite a while now. Uh, let's go and uh, see Emerson, uh, because he's got a bit of a new look. Now, he's actually in the wrong outfit. I've kept a couple of his outfits, and typical, he is wearing uh, the wrong one. So let's just go and say hello. But I've given him the new hairdo, and I wasn't sure... I I put it on him as a bit of a joke kind of thing in Kaz and I was looking at it and I'm like I don't know if it'll suit him and then I put it on him and oh my word it's perfect it just suits him so much um, we can't really get in here because he's kind of facing the wrong way but it really works he just looks so cute 
And he's embracing island life, basically. And we've got the beautiful Indiana here with him, of course. And so, obviously, we are here. <clears throat> and you can see, if you've seen the Runaway Teen in the Jungle series, you'll know that he uh, began dating Yuki Bear. Um, now, this is something that I wasn't really sure what to do with, but um, basically, Emerson's decided uh, that him and Yuki should just be friends. Um, they want different things. He's all about adventure and island life and things like that. And Yuki's not. And she's quite grumpy. Uh, so I've decided that, um, what's he complaining about? Oh, what is Indiana doing? What's he doing? He was saying he's on a counter. Oh, lecture about jumping on counters. Indiana, you naughty boy. Anyway, but yeah, so Emerson's decided, um, it's probably best that they just go their separate ways. Uh, so he is here, and obviously she is not. Uh, right, let's have a quick look at his outfits. So we've got, uh, this is his main everyday outfit. This is so Emerson. Uh, it's got a bit of green in there, because there's not many green outfits. Um, with this and living pack. Uh, and he's very much a green coloured sim for his clothing and things. Uh, then we've got... Um, Let's go to formal wear. Oh, I did give him this. I don't really like some of the island living clothing either. Uh, things like this and the kind of sarongs and things for, for the male sims, they're just not me. And they're definitely not Emerson. I don't see him as liking that kind of thing. So that was the best I could do for his formal outfit. Um, we've got his gym wear. Loving it. Although I've accidentally got rid of his old active wear, but I think we'll just stick with this one because he just looks so cool. <laughs> And he's looking very trim. Uh, I did have him working out at the end of the last series, so maybe that's why. Uh, we'll go on to his sleepwear. I've given him the baggy shorts. Why not? He can have some baggy shorts. <laughs> yeah, he's happy with it, look. Uh, we'll go on to party wear. I love this. He's got two outfits. Uh, so he's got this one. A bit more, you know, uh, what's the word? Uh, so not sophisticated, um less showy of his chest and stuff. Uh, I can't think of the word. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> what's wrong with me today? Uh, and then we got this one because I love this shirt. It is so cool. So this is a bit more of a summery one. Uh, modest is the word. Uh, so the other one's a bit more modest and this one's a little bit more showy. Uh, but we're on holiday in an, in an island. Well, not on holiday. He lives here. Uh, but you know. Uh, then we got his swimwear. I've given him uh, this one because uh, I quite like him in this kind of thing. I think that quite suited him. But I've also given him uh, the uh, diver one as well because I thought that would be quite cool uh, if he goes snorkelling somewhere. And his summer outfit is this one because we like it. That's not the same shirt as the other one, is it? I haven't put him in the same... Oh no, it's a different colour. Phew! I thought I'd put him in the same shirt, so we've got that one. Um, we've also got uh, this little shorts set, because summer outfits, you know, he might not always want a top on. Fair enough. Uh, and then we've got, finally, oh no, I haven't done a winter outfit, because <laughs> why would you? Uh, funny story, he was in winter uh, when I loaded up this game, and I've had to play out a whole week just to get him back into spring. So I dropped the season down to a week, and then got through winter and then I've put it up to four weeks uh, so we can enjoy spring and summer properly. Uh, right, so let's get him in a normal outfit anyway, because uh, he doesn't need to be wearing those right now. And we need to get him a job. Uh, so we're going to go with the conservationist career because that is just so, so Emerson. And we need to change his uh, aspiration as well, because I believe there's a new one. Uh, beach life. Uh, get us some... Oh, actually, is there any... Is there a different one? Is that the only um, aspiration that you get uh, with this? Because that's not really... Um, it's kind of touristy, by the look of things. Find things beach combing, explore the beach... Yeah, no, I suppose it is, but I don't want him to get a suntan. I don't want him to! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, why isn't there a nature one? That'd be cool. Uh, we could do angling ace while he's here, though, couldn't we? Because he's um, he very much 
uh, loves fishing and things. Okay, we're going to have to go with... Um, oh, let's put him on angling ace for now. And I want to get him to finish his freelance botanist as well. Uh, so you need, Oh, he needs to mount or bowl five fish. Oh, well, that could be... Uh, we could do that. We could get some things here. Um, right, let's get him to find a job, as I was doing. Uh, this is quite cool. I want to see what this find odd jobs is, because this is a new thing. Um, and it says you can just pick up quick jobs to do. Um, oh, wow, cool. Looking to make a few extra simoleons on the side. Want to do work on your time? Odd Jobs offers the opportunity to choose your own schedule and meet local sims. Sign up for an odd job today. Awesome. Last minute beach party. I'm hosting this huge annual beach bash and I'm pretty sure more people are going to show up than last year's. Totally going to need someone to bring some extra kalu pork or else there's no way, I'm, I, no way I'm going to be able to make enough food to feed everyone. Oh, cool. Oh, wow, look at that, looking for gamer. Oh, that is so cool. I need someone to come beat my friend's best score at Blick Block. <laughs> oh, that's ace. 33 simoleons per hour begins ASAP. Oh, they actually have times as well, needed by Sunday, uh, ASAP, so do it as soon as possible. Um, I would like a mahi-mahi to keep or to cook. Oh, go fishing for them, okay. Uh, this person would like some seashells. <laughs> she sells seashells, oh, of course they did that. Um, TV hookup, I just got a brand new TV, but I'm not sure how to hook it up to everything. Really? <laughs> okay, wow, that's so cool. So we could do some little odd jobs as well at some point. Um, but we are going to go find him his job <laughs> and do this properly. Um, so let's see uh, what this conservationist is all about. Emerson? There we go. Uh, so we've got this. Uh, you've watched every nature documentary out there and you know just how much the planet is in danger. From educating the public to performing research expeditions, you want to truly make a difference. Change won't happen overnight, but keep at it and your hard work can lead to thriving ecosystems, career branches, environmental manager and marine biologist. <gasps> oh, cool. That's awesome. And what's all this? Oh, professions, uh, careers. So, so we're going to give him that career, of course. Um, I believe that... Oh, here they are. They've, um, they've now un unlocked some uh, part-time jobs. So there's some from the teens... And it's also like lifeguard um, and you can choose what hours you want to work 8 till 12 or 5 till 9 uh, there's a fisherman that's quite cool that you can just be a, a part-time fisherman awesome you can you get two part-time jobs that'd be awesome wouldn't it um so we could do that as well at some point if he gets through his conservationist uh, career uh, but we're going to go with conservationist for now if i can find it again uh, so he's going to be a wildlife enthusiast. Awesome. So he starts work at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Um, and he needs to spread conservation awareness to other sims. Cool. So that means we need to get him out and about, doesn't it? Um, oh, okay. Work assignment. Research conservation. Should Emerson Ventura get a jump start and accept the assignment? Yes, he should. Uh, oh, okay. It's changed. Uh, so we're going to research some conservation. So I'm guessing we can do that on the computer. And I've given him some uh, a new trait. He's still a dog lover and he still loves the outdoors, but he's now also a child of the islands. Uh, these sims experience a spiritual connection to islands of Sulani. Honour the islands by partaking in their culture. Summon powerful elements and reap the rewards of their blessings or the consequences of their disfavour. So that's a new personality trait. He's got loads of traits. And do you know what? I forgot. He he doesn't need as much sleep and stuff. <laughs> because I completely forgot I'd got him stuff like seldom sleepy uh, and what have you. Which is kind of cool. But also it's like his bedtime kind of falls at the wrong time. <laughs> so we'll just have to get used to that. But at least he doesn't have to constantly go to bed all the time. Oh, how has he reached writing level 6 and comedy level Six. What? Really? From doing research? He just leveled up his rocket science. What is he researching? 
That's kind of cool, but really random at the same time. He's gaining logic. And video gaming. What is happening? He's researching con conservation. And I said conversation. Conservation. What? <laughs> oh, he maxed out his Salvadoradian culture as well when he was in Salvadorada. So that's quite cool. How are, some, how are some of these skills going up? I don't know. That's so bizarre. They are as well, look. 13%. Reached painting level. Is he bugged? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Where's Indiana? Uh, he always oh, in his bed. Oh, he's never in his bed. He's always on a sofa. What's that all about? Uh, we should probably get him to go hunting. So let's just speed Emerson up a bit uh, and get him through this. Oh, he gained 56 simoleons for that. Oh, yes, of course, because he uh, did his work from home assignment. That's really cool. That's really random. It just... Use the PC to research conservation topics and gain logic skill. Um, hmm, how bizarre. Uh, right, let's get him to send Indiana hunting and see if we can find something. Um, I want to check that his skills aren't still going up. Um, now you see that says 0%. Do you see that? 2%. What went up? His video gaming went up, didn't it? 24% Okay Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on that for a minute just to see if it's still going up Because if it is, that's really random and he's bugged um, Has Indiana gone? Where did he go? Indiana? We've lost him We've lost, no don't call him home We've lost the dog Oh he's there Well you didn't really find anything did you? anyway this is emerson's home uh, we've got him his job we've had a look at all his new outfits and everything um and we're gonna obviously get him to go out into the world uh, and do some conservation work uh, and he starts uh, tomorrow uh, so we'll probably do that uh, in the next episode uh, but i really hope you like me are happy that emerson is back um, he's my favourite sim of them all and I know he's a favourite of a few people um, that have watched the Runaway Teen series. Uh, so, I mean, do check that out you, if you want to know a little bit more about him uh, and see what he was like in that series. Uh, but yeah, he is here in Sulani and I couldn't be happier uh, to have this series on the go. Uh, right, I'm gonna go. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like. Please subscribe if you want to be notified of new videos. Please leave a comment. All comments are welcome and I always reply as soon as I can. And I really hope you enjoyed this episode and thanks for watching.